All right, what is going on YouTube? It is a beautiful Saturday out, so I figured I had to get out and make a, another video for you guys and try and put a little bit more uh, conversation in this one. The last one I didn't really have time uh, to really talk. It was mostly just kind of getting out for a quick ride. So yeah, um, wanted to make another video kind of just talking about one of the features of the bike. Uh, I know I've done a few about uh, you know, like the cruise control, talking about the quick shifting system um and then one of them i also want to do a video on just because i think it's a pretty neat feature uh is the uh, launch control so uh if uh, you guys aren't aware the gen 6 uh cowies uh, so it's like a 2021 and up um come with uh what's called a kawasaki launch control uh, it's like uh klcm um and so as you can imagine it's literally as it says it's launch control mode um so i'm going to show you guys kind of how to activate that how to use it um and then what it's kind of like to uh to actually launch with it so it's a pretty neat feature um but yeah so just kind of uh disclaimer if you're going to use this um try and find an area where uh number one it's a straight shot obviously and then uh where traffic may or may not be that bad i know i've got a few cars coming at me but if you look behind me i haven't had a car go by me in a while so um you know if you're going to use it try and try and do it in a in a safe area or as safe as you can find um but yeah so uh we're going to turn the bike on here and then i'll show you guys how to basically get into the mode of it uh so once we're on um I'm going to turn it on here and just get her going. Uh, so first thing we want to do is go into our menu. Uh, so we're going to hit and hold our select button here on the right hand side. And then from here, um, we're going to go into vehicle settings. So again, hit select. And then you'll see us down here, KLCM. So we can use our up and down arrow modes to select, go down to KLCM. Um, and then if we select on again, you can see you have three different options here. Now I'm, I'm in option one. Um, so that's basically allows you to be at the highest rev counter. I don't know off the top of my head what two and three are. I think one lets it go up to about 8,500 RPM, somewhere around that range. Um, what that means is basically when you're holding the throttle wide open, um, one is like the max setting where you can get that throttle to um, kind of keep the revs as high as possible or as high as it'll let you. Two is a little bit lower and then three is the lowest. Um, but uh, but yeah, so I usually set it on one. Um, and then just to go back, we're gonna hit your reset button, reset button, get back all the way to our main dash. Um, another disclaimer is you will see I'm currently in sport mode. Um, to leverage this, you have to be in a mode that has your full power and at least one of the uh, traction controls enabled. I think that's probably just to prevent you from looping it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sport mode uh, already comes standard in power F with TC1. Uh, one is the lowest, I think it goes up to five. So TC5 would be the maximum traction control. Um, and then power F means full. Uh, these bikes have three power modes. It's like F, ML, full, medium, and low, I think, or something like that. Um, but anyway, so you have to be in either a sport mode or a rider mode where um, power is set to full and TC is set to one. Um, but yeah, so I got a few cars coming, so I'll show you guys how to actually turn this on and then we'll actually go and use it. So uh, number one is you have to be um, at a stop and you have to be in neutral. And so once you are kind of in that type of scenario where you're in neutral, you're at a stop, to actually activate it, you're gonna hit your select button right here and your mode up button. So I'm gonna hit select and mode up. I'm gonna hold those. And then you'll see we'll get an update here on our dash is KLCM on. So that means we now have enabled the uh, launch control and we can actually go ahead and, uh, and use it. So I got a few cars coming up here. Once they go by and get some distance, I'll, uh, I'll actually go ahead and get this going. Uh, and then once it's basically enabled, all you need to do, uh, go into first, like that. And then uh, what you'll do is, I'm gonna do it here in a minute, but you're gonna hold your throttle all the way open, which you'll see on the dash, it goes to about 8, 8,500 RPMs. Hold the throttle open and gradually let out the clutch. If you dump the clutch, it's either gonna kill the bike or you're gonna loop it. Just slowly ease out the clutch, especially if it's the first time you're doing this. So, all right, so we're actually gonna go ahead and do it. Throttle open. <laughs> Woo! 
as you can see, it's got a lot of power there. Uh, I was pulling up the front wheel. Uh, so we'll, we'll do another run, but yeah, it's got a boatload of power. Um, and you may not have noticed it. I'll try and get a cleaner run there. But basically, it's going to have the KLCM on the dash. It's going to say on um, all the way until you get out of third gear. So once you get out of third, it'll turn itself off and you'll be off to the off to the races. So, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, even when I was slowly letting out the clutch, you know, and, and with a mode of traction control where this is enabled, um, that front wheel is still going to come up. So if you're not ready for it, that's where you really got to make sure that, uh, you know, you're, you're ready and prepared for what the bike's going to do. So turn around real quick. Oh, these are tight roads. Alright, so go back here. But yeah, so it's a really neat feature, it's a lot of fun. And if you get used to the power wheel is like that, it will help you out big time when the power wheel is out of the launch control. So. All right, so we're gonna circle back here, do it again. I'm only gonna do it one more time here. I don't wanna ruin everybody's uh, beautiful, serene Saturday on the lake with a very loud motorcycle. I had to recut it there. We had some cars coming by. But anyway, so we're going to put it all together now. Uh, so we're in neutral. Select. Up. It'll kick on. Just in case you're wondering, yes, you can turn it back off. So if you just redo, select, and up again, you'll see it goes away. So that's how you can also kill it. So we're going to turn it back on. All right. Check our surroundings. All clear. First gear. Drop open. Watch out for the little squirrel in the road. I don't want to hit you, buddy. But yeah, so that was a much better launch. Obviously, it takes some practice. Um, even with TC1 on, that front wheel is still going to come up. So just be prepared for it. Practice in a safe environment. Uh, just make sure, you know, if you're going to do it, you got an open, clear road. Uh, be aware of your surroundings and again just be prepared for that front wheel to come up on you uh, but yeah it's a lot of fun uh, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video I'm gonna go out and get some more riding in might try and clip another video together uh, if you like the content uh, feel free to stick around subscribe again I'm uh, just trying to get the channel up and running this year uh, so far I had had some pretty decent uh, traction and uh, I also do videos on uh, Instagram if you guys like to see the stuff with more of the music involved uh, check out the Instagram channel but yeah other than that uh, ride safe